Welcome to study the Bible with me. Today we are continuing from where we stopped last time. So grab your Bible and let's dig right in. Ezekiel chapter 22. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Now, thou son of man, wilt thou judge? Wilt thou judge the bloody city? Yea, thou shalt shew her all her abominations. Then say thou, Thus saith the Lord God, The city sheddeth blood in the midst of it, that her time may come, and maketh idols against herself to defile herself. Thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed, and hast defiled thyself in thine idols, which thou hast made, and thou hast caused thy days to draw near and art come even unto thy years. Therefore have I made thee a reproach unto the heathen, and a mocking to all countries. Those that are near, and those that are far from thee, shall mock thee, which art infamous and much vexed. Behold, the princes of Israel, every one were in, in thee to their power to shed blood. In thee have they set light by father, and mother, in the midst of thee have they dealt by oppression with a stranger, in thee have they vexed the fatherless and the widow. Thou hast despised mine holy things, and hast profaned my Sabbath. In thee are men that carry tales to shed blood, and in thee they eat upon the mountains, in the midst of thee they commit lewdness. In thee have they discovered their father's na nakedness. In thee have they humbled her that was set apart for pollution. And one hath committed abomination with his neighbor's wife. And another hath lewdly defiled her daughter-in-law. And another in thee hath humbled her sister, his father's daughter. In thee have they taken gifts to shed blood. Thou hast taken usury and increase. And thou hast greatly gained of thy neighbors by extortion, and hath forgotten me, saith the Lord God. Behold, therefore I have smitten, smitten mine hand at thy dishonest gain, which thou hast made, and at thy blood, which hast been in the midst of thee. Can thine heart endure, or can thine hands be strong? In the days that I shall deal with thee, I the Lord have spoken it, and will do it. And I will scatter thee among the heathen, and disperse thee in the countries, and will consume thy, thy filth thy filthness out of thee, and thou shalt take thine inheritance in thyself in the sight of the heathen, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is to become dross, all they are brass, and tin, and iron, and lead, in the midst of the furnace, they are even the dross of silver. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass, and iron, and lead and tin, into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I the Lord have poured out my fury upon you. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto her, Thou art the land that is not cleansed, nor reigned upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion ravening the prey. They have devoured sores, they have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many windows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated thy law, and have profaned mine holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean, and have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and am profaned among them. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey, to shed blood, and to destroy souls, to get dishonest gain, and her prophets have dubbed them with untempered mortar, seeing vanity and divining lies unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord God, when the Lord hath not spoken, 
the people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery, and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, that I should not destroy it. But I found none. Therefore have I poured out mine indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord God. Chapter 23 The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, there were two women, the daughters of one mother, and they committed whoredoms in Egypt. They committed whoredoms in their youth. There were their breasts pressed, and there they bruised the teats of their virginity. At the names of them were Ahola the elder, and Aholiba her sister, and they were mine, and they bare sons and daughters. Thus were their names Samaria is Aholib, Ahola, and Jerusalem Aholiba. And Ahola played the harlot when she was mine, and she doted on her lovers, on the Assyrians her neighbors, which were clothed with blue, captains and rulers, all of them desirable young men, horsemen, riding upon horses. Thus she committed her whoredoms with them, with all them that were the cho chosen men of Assyria, and with all on whom she doted, with all their idols she defiled herself, neither left, her, left she her whoredoms brought from Egypt, for in her youth they lay with her. And they bruised the breasts of her virginity, and poured their whoredom upon her. Wherefore I have delivered her into the hand of her lovers, into the hand of the Assyrians, upon whom she doted. These discovered her nakedness. They took her sons and her daughters, and slew, slew her with a sword. And she became famous among women, for they had executed judgment upon her. And when her sister Aholiba saw this, she was more corrupt in her inordinate love than she, and in her whoredoms more than her sister in her whoredoms. She doted upon the Assyrians, her neighbors, captains and rulers, clothed most gorgeously, horsemen riding upon horses, all of them desirable young men. Then I saw that she was defiled, that they took both one way and that she increased her whoredoms. For when she saw men portrayed upon the wall, the images of the children's portrayed with vermilion, garden, guarded with girdles upon their loins, exceeding in dyed attire upon their heads, all of them princes to look to. After the manner of the Babylonians, Babylonians of Chaldea, the land of their nativity, and as soon as she saw them with her eyes, she doted upon them, and sent messengers unto them in Chaldea. And the Babylonians came to her into the bed of love, and they defiled her with their whoredoms, and she was polluted with them, and her mind was alienated from them. So she discovered her whoredoms, and discovered her nakedness. Then my mind was alienated from her, like as my mind was alienated from her sister. Yet she multiplied her whoredoms, in calling to remembrance the days of her youth, wherein she had played the harlot in the land of Egypt. For she doted upon their paramours, whose flesh is as the flesh of asses, and whose issue is like the issue of horses. Thus thou callest to remembrance the lewdness of thy youth, and bruising thy tits by the Egyptians for the paps of thy youth. Therefore, O Aholiba, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will rise up my, thy lovers against thee from whom thy mind is alienated, and I will bring them against thee on every side, the Babylonians and all the Chaldeans, Pekod and Shor and Kor and all the Assyrians with them, all of them desirable young men, captains and rulers, great lords and renowned, all of them riding upon horses, and they shall come against thee with chariots, wagons and wheels, and with an assembly of people, which shall set against thee buckler and shield and helmet round about, and I will set judgment before them, and they shall judge thee according to their judgments. And I will set my jealousy against thee, and they shall deal furiously with thee. They shall take away thy nose and thy ears, and thy remnant shall fall by the sword. 
they shall take thy sons and thy daughters, and thy residue shall be devoured by the fire. They shall also strip thee out of thy clothes, and take away thy fair jewels. Thus will I make thy lewdness to cease from thee, and thy hoard and brought from the land of Egypt, so that thou shalt not lift up thine eyes unto them, nor remember Egypt any more. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will deliver thee into the hand of them whom thou hatest, into the hand of them from whom thy mind is alienated, and they shall deal with thee hatefully, and shall take away all thy labor, and shall leave thee naked and bare, and the nakedness of thy whoredoms shall be discovered, both thy lewdness and thy whoredoms. I will do these things unto thee, because thou hast gone a whoring after the heathen, and because thou art polluted with their idols. Thou hast walked in the way of thy sister, therefore will I give her cup into thine hand. Thus saith the Lord God, Thou shalt drink of thy sister's cup deep and large. Thou shalt be loved to scorn, and hard in decision, in derision, it containeth much. Thou shalt be filled with drunkenness and sorrow, with a cup of astonishment and desolation, with a cup of thy sister Samaria. Thou shalt even drink it, and suck it out, and thou shalt break the shards thereof, and pluck off thine own breasts, for I have spoken it, saith the Lord God. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast forgotten me, and cast me behind thy back, therefore bear thou also thy lewdness, and thy whoredoms, the Lord said moreover unto me, Son of man, wilt thou judge a holer and a holiba? Yea, declare unto them their abominations, that they have committed adultery, and blood in their hands is in their hands, and with their idols have they committed adultery, and have also caused their sons, whom they bear unto me, to pass for them through the fire, to devour them. Moreover, this they have done unto me, they have defiled my sanctuary in the same day, and have profaned my Sabbath. For when they had slain their children to their idols, when they came the same day into my sanctuary to profane it, and lo, thus have they done in the midst of mine house. And furthermore, that ye have set for men to come from far, unto whom a messenger was sent, and lo, they came, for whom thou didst wash thyself paintedest thy eyes, and decadest thyself with ornaments, and set a, satest upon a stately bed, and a table prepared before it, whereupon thou hast set mine increase, incense and mine oil, and the voice of a multitude being at ease was with her, and with a man of the common sort, where brought Sabines, Sabines from the wilderness, which put bracelets upon their hands, and the beautiful crowns upon their heads. Then said I unto her that was old in adulteries, Will they now commit whoredoms with her, and she with, the, and she with them? Yet they went in unto her, as they go in unto a woman that playeth the harlot. So went they in unto Ahola, and unto Aholiba, the lewd woman, the lewd woman. And the righteous men, they shall judge them after the manner of the adulteresses, and after the manner of women that shed blood, because they are adulteresses, and blood is in their hands. For thus saith the Lord God, I will bring up a company upon them, and will give them to a removed and spoiled. And the company shall stone them with stones, and dispatch them with their swords. They shall slay their sons and their daughters, and burn up their horses with fire. Thus will I cause lewdness to cease out of the land, and all women may be taught not to do after your lewdness. And they shall recompense your lewdness upon you, and ye shall bear the sins of your idols, and ye shall know that I am the Lord God. We are ending here today. Next time we're going to be starting from Ezekiel chapter 24. I'll see you then. <laughs>